Hey guys, okay, so we're gonna make some gnomes today. Most of this stuff is from the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, and you'll need a variety of socks. So you'll definitely need white socks. You can get these three to a package. You'll need a pair of white socks. And then you'll need socks for your body to cover that and then for your hat so you can pick out whatever kind of socks that you like and you can make them in Christmas colors, reds, blacks. I have lots and lots of socks. So you're making, you can make them for fall, winter, or just an everyday decoration. Um, I'm going to make probably a couple, I'm going to show you two different ways to make them now and then we're going to actually do a live where you can come and make them with us and maybe you'll have other ideas. All right, so get your socks. This is what you're going to need now. Beards. I buy this, um, I think I got this at Joanne's or Michael's and you can buy this full fur. I have it in sheets too, I think like a bigger in it, but some full fur like that. Now if you can't get to a craft store and you can get to the Dollar Tree, you may be able to find these faux fur mufflers and these would work for a beard. You could also find this at the Dollar Tree and you could have make that work for a beard. And you could find this at the Dollar Tree and the faux fur muffler make that work. You could also make this work and have a funky looking guy. Okay, so you have you have different options for your fur and this is even an option from the Dollar Tree. You could use this, you could be able to make a few hats out of this and then this can fold down and there's your faux fur right there and that will work. those options you're going to need a glue gun of course and you can also use these that you can get at the Dollar Tree for um, your gnome hats. We're not going to use the cones. I'm going to show you how to do it without the cones because I've seen that the cones are hard to find. Some people use <coughs> Some people use these cones. We're not gonna use those today. I also use some fishing line. If you don't have fishing line, you can use embroidery floss, and that's just for making things extra secure. And then you're gonna want some type of rubber bands that can be like that, which you want it white or clear for the nose, or you can, you know, these. Okay, these are also available at the Dollar Tree. And then, some embellishments such as you know buttons or just I have a bunch of embellishments over here okay I mean if you're making fall ones they can hold a pumpkin or you could have a pumpkin on them you can use embellishments such as this these lots of embellishments but we'll get to that let's get to the main part and you will of course need rice you don't want to use rice i've seen people use epsom salts or bath salts that have a fragrance you can also fragrance your rice with essential oils which is what i usually do and people that are afraid of bugs in rice, you can put the rice in the freezer and that will take care of that problem. The essential oils will also work to do that. And where are my essential oils? Here. You're also going to need some type of blushing, which I'll show you. So these are all different types of embellishments you can have. These are all from the Dollar Tree, but you'll need, you know, a brush like that. I tried to get that other brush, but I, if you watched my live, you'll know that 
my husband had already checked out and of course I couldn't. It was the only time I ever found those other brown brushes. And of course they didn't have them when I went back to another Dollar Tree. You can find embellishments like that, like that, like that. You can even write a little sign with a Cricut or by with a chalk marker. Like that. This filler. Little Merry Christmas signs. I mean, use your imagination. Pom poms, wood beads, two tone pom poms. The list goes on and on. Blush. So we're going to put that away because we're going to not need that right now. The first thing we've got to do is get our legs. What was that? Whoops, I don't know, something fell. I'll find it. We've got to get our sock. And you'll need scissors, okay? I'm gonna plug in my glue gun. Luke? Hey, Luke? Yeah? Can you do me a favor and plug this in for me? Right under there. Right under where? Right under there. Oh, careful, careful. told me about this caddy and that's why I used to hold my glue gun. I have my essential oils somewhere. I'm just trying to find those. All right guys, so here's, um, I'll show you this. Now we take our white saw. And here, I think you can put this in your rice as you put it in. Some people put, um, just, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways. You can use, if you were using a bath salt or an Epsom salt, you can put a little bit on the bottom and to make a weighted base, kind of like how Dollar Tree does their gnomes. They only have a little bit of a weighted base like to here and the rest is fluff. And yes, you will need fluff. Okay, so some of this polyfill. You're going to need one. I might be missing something, but we'll see it in action. So got our sock, which you're going to do is my fishing line in here. Come on. Come on, fishing line. Take your sock and cut it right across. You feel like that. Save that for something else. And then there's a couple of ways to fill these. You can use a funnel, and I do have a funnel, but you can also put it over a pint glass. I'll show you. The same way you would fill a icing bag, you take a pint glass, you put the sock over it like that and start filling in with your rice. And you don't even need a funnel on that one. You can just use a measuring cup. But I do, I do have my funnel. All right, I don't know. That's kind of like the story of my life in this house. I put things places and people put them other places, but I'm not gonna worry. I bought a black funnel. Actually, I'm just going to use a measuring cup and we'll do it this way. All right, so, all right. Oh. I plan to make these gnomes so many times and that's what happened, I get my stuff ready. So I do that and then I usually I'll add this is my germany add my oils to the whole rice thing, but I'm just gonna add some in here. Right like that and they'll dissipate through the rice. Okay. 
And as I take this out, you'll see we're going to add a lot more rice. So we tap it down, kind of crunch it. Now you could, like I said, fill this up, not even that much to give yourself a weighted base and fill the rest up with fluff. And you can, by all means, do that. And we're going to try one like that and see which one we like better. Or you can do them all with rice. But I'm going to think that I might want to do the, the weighted base and then the fluff. Not sure. Let's let's try this one. Let's do an all rice. That's what I made all the snowmen and the penguins and stuff. Now, when you put these away, you know, make sure they're in a sealed container because if you get any field mice or something in the house, they love getting into this rice and they will eat right through your creation and eat all of the rice and take it away. I'm still going to add more. Same idea as we did for the snowman, except here you need to make the snowman into two body parts. You can make them of all different shapes and sizes, some fatter, some taller, you know, all depending on the sock size that you leave. And so that's like taking on a gnome shape, but I'm still going to add some more. Still need a final height? Well, it's probably next to where I sit in there. Huh? Okay, so we're still going to. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do is put a band around it. It's not going to matter what color band you use on this part of it. I'm just going to grab some domains here, this green one. Actually, there's two bands here. Some people put three bands on. I'm going to show you how to make this really secure. So, usually you can wrap these little ones three times around. And then I'm going to put... Third, and then we are going to further secure it by taking some of our fishing line. Okay. And over here, Mr. Fishing Line. Wrapping that several times and then tying it off. And I'll wrap again, you know, this is for the person with OCD. And tap again, tie it off again. Then you'll cut your loose ends here. Okay, next you can trim. Some of that, and then you can further glue this down with hot glue, right there. So let's grab our glue gun over here. Oh, I 
forgot my, my glue fingers are in the basket, you know, so you don't burn your hands. You can get those at the Dollar Tree, too. Okay, so I hope you're seeing that. Okay, and now the next thing we're going to do is kind of shape our little gnome a little bit, and then we're going to have to get ready. So white, and yeah, we have to pull a nose out of here, and right about this. And you're going to want to kind of like a little fatter, rounder nose. You have to pinch it, and then you're going to have to put a rubber band around it. So it sounds harder than it is. <laughs> I say that, right? Sounds harder than it is. So try to pinch your nose. Now that's a little nose. See how little that is? It's too little, right? That's too little. So we have to. What was that? What was that? Here's my. Oh, I had a good nose size, and I. My white nose. Now see, I may not have packed him with enough, um, I mean I packed him I think with too much rice and that's why I can't get a really good grasp on his nose there. So I'm going to have to work this a little bit. I probably would have left a little gap, but I think I'll be able to make this work. I think I would have been able to have ha uh, had a white bird at the end, but there now I think I'm going to get the size I want. That's still too small. Okay. Well, this is good. Let's see. But ideally, probably, let's see, should be up a little higher. Known problems, right? Known problems. Now, if all else failed and you couldn't get a right nose, you could put a round, like one of those round filler balls, and you could high glue it to your gnome if you really couldn't get a proper gnome or a ping pong ball, something like that. But we're going to make this work, because that's what we do. It's going to be a little higher up. Let's go around here and really get a good gnome. Size, nose, come on. So, hold on, I think I channeled the way. Yeah, um, let me tell you, this is the first time I've made a gnome. I've made a lot of penguins and snowmen and everything, but this is the first gnome, so bear with me here. And like I said, when we have a live crafting, you can come and share your expert tips, or you could try it for the first time. No judgment. Okay, I'm going to leave his, his little nose like that right now. That's pretty good. Next time I won't feel him quite so much. So I'm going to shape him a little bit, right? Now I'm going to see what I want to do, what kind of gnome I want to make. So I was thinking I might want to make like a, uh, a groovy gnome or 
we could go all Christmas now. This kind of no. Um, I have my other, other, I have so many other socks and stuff. Really, but like the purples, I was thinking are good for fall, so I may just do the funky no now. Let's see if we do a, a funky ish gnome. So I would take a purple sock, okay, and again, I'm gonna cut right across the heel like this. Okay. And this is the little sweater or hat. Now, for his little sweater, you can take the bottom and These little numb sort of some people like to do it up there, but if you do it this way, and for this, I'm going to cut straight across here. It's going to be looser, but you're going to bring that right up under his nose there and hot glue that, and then on the bottom, we're going to like tie it off, okay? We're gonna cut it and then glue that to the bottom. So you're going to have that, and then his hat, I'm gonna take one of the funky socks. I saw these socks, I'm like, these are perfect for him. So you're going to have this sock now, which you can do. Let's test out your funky gnome here. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna bring this down. They don't you don't have to put eyes on them now. You see, kind of looks like a Jerry Garcia. No. All right. And then you're going to decide how large you want your gnome hat to be. And usually you come up right by the heel. And that would be good, right? So I'm going to probably come right there and I'm probably going to. I'm going to do with this little hat. Now you could also, if you didn't want that pink. You could pop that under, and you could even trim it. And I think I am going to pop that pink under there when I put it on it. Okay, I did find my funnel. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put two, I used to call pipe cleaners, but now they're chenille sticks. Thinking if I put and in there, I'm going to be able to I'm just going to double them so that they're sturdier, and then I can put them off, and twist them together. And I'm going to kind of fold them in at the ends, so hopefully that nothing sharp sticks out. You could tape the ends if you want. Okay, then I'm just going to, so it's like an armature, okay, pop that in, stupid fly, the flies are, they don't know what's happening, one day it's cold, one day it's hot, you know. A stupid fly in here that's like half alive. Okay, so got that in. Now we'll take some fly. So it's polyfill, and we will. Stick 
stop it, being careful not to smash our chenille stick. Try to get it all the way to the end there. And don't worry, we're gonna finish that end off. Yeah, one of these will work much better. I can see it's just a real sturdy wire. So this is this, um, I did pick this up at Walmart, but this I can tell, I don't want to stick out. Yeah, look at that. That works really well. So let me cut that off here. There we go. Okay. So that works really well. Really, really well. To let me finesse this into any shape that I want. Push that all the way up in there. much better if you're looking for some type of an armature. All right, so we want to just encompass his nose like that. And I'm gonna glue it like right there in the front right now. Okay, so let me grab my glue. Move this. Put my little gnome down as he's walking around, or sassy, who's that sassy? We'll do one side at a time. Just hold it for a minute. And then I'm gonna take his little sweater. Now remember his beard is gonna be here, right? This beard is going to be there, but we want to make sure that this covers. So, but we want to fold this raw edge under. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to just give his the back of his hat some stability here because we don't want that to come off. while we're maneuvering him around. Okay, so. Pull up this sweater. Now you're gonna have to, at the back is where we're gonna really wanna make sure the sweater meets the <laughs>
Okay, now, what we can do to embellish his hat is put some fur right around, like a, just a strip of something like, um, let me just show you what I mean. Say we were doing this. You take a small strip of this and add to his hat, which I probably will do. There's a lot of embellishing that you can do. But the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do, and I think on this guy, and a beard, I think a brown beard would work good on him. So I'm going to deconstruct this right now because, so I'm just pulling this Santa hat down to get that brown fur, okay? To harvest this brown fur. Right here. That's what I want to do. So. Now for this guy, we go like that. We want his fur. We want his beard to be like that. So we have to cut here. Gonna go up and we'll cut this to like a few shape on the bottom or circular shape. Have a little scoop out for his nose. beard up there and definitely and a little bit of shedding there. So what I gotta do is I have to pop this down right there like that. Okay? So I'm going to just give that a little pop before I put the beard on. Of his head and pop that down. So that that's around his nose there. And we have his nose. Ouch. Hold on a minute. I think we just lost our gnomey nose. Oh no. You know what I did? His band broke with the hot glue. Oh boy, this is a this is a shocker. What are we gonna do now? We might have to add a nose. I might. That's what I'm gonna have to do. So I forgot to tie the fishing line, and we lost his nose. But we're gonna make him a new nose. Watch out of this. Watch. So I'm gonna take this and. Oh wow, that's so crazy that we lost our no nose. Okay, it's not a, not an issue. We're going to just have to improvise and make him a nose, but I need a big enough nose. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe we lost our nose. I'm 
doing this several times. I walked away in a minute for a minute and I figured out what you really need to use those your socks on top but there is a way to fix this I did put the band there now if I pull this down it looks a lot better so I can glue that down there I was not going to give up on this gnome I felt I just had to pull the sock down and it would stay there and the problem is that didn't really solve the problem so I continued to play with it for an unbelievably a long time because I wasn't giving up not a quitter and I just kept pulling it playing with it and as you'll see I eventually figure a solution out for it and what I end up doing is I see now that you have to use the floppy socks on the top otherwise you have to add some kind of a brim or something to your hat the like knee-high socks are usually not going to work well on top and you'll watch after I make them very easily with the other socks without all of this stuff going on but I'll leave you to see how I remedied this with some nautical rope
Okay, so this is the second gnome. And I had recorded this whole thing showing you how to make the nose, but the camera wasn't on. But you'll see it. I do do it again towards the end of the video. So you'll see that you just don't stuff it tight. And then you can make a good nose. And then if you have to add something after that, you can. I didn't have to. Make sure that you go over that nose with the fishing line um, many times so that it doesn't come out or it doesn't get melted with glue or anything when you're putting the beard on. That's really paramount, so make sure you do that. And this is my second gnome. Now I'm going to use the right socks and it's going to go together very, very quickly, and you can just watch and enjoy. <laughs> We're going to add some blushing to the nose and just take some blush and brush it on. And don't even worry if you get it a little too much. It's going to come off while you work with it and it will be just fine. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so that looks cute. Looks like very mushroomy. And I'm going to put some stuffing in the hat with the fiber fill. And let's see, but I also want to check out the beard. So again, I'm going to deconstruct that Santa hat and get him some brown fur for a brown beard. Now, someone asked me about making girl gnomes. <laughs> First I said, well, how do you know they're not girls? Then I realized they had beards. But a girl gnome would basically be like that without the beard. And you could give them, I don't know, something, maybe a little beaded necklace. I don't know. I don't know. Are there girl gnomes? 
Are gnomes only males? I don't know. To check into that. Okay, so gnome number three, I realized I tried to show you the nose again, and then realized my camera was off, so wonderful. But this is going to be a Christmas one. I do show you the nose at the end. You'll see it. I'll, I'll go. I finally do get it right. But the noses are all fine now, as long as the bag isn't stuffed heavy with too much rice. You don't secure it up, and you'll get a good nose every time. So I'm just blushing the nose. I put a little Santa sock on for the sweater. I'm going to use the white for this time to do a white beard. So I'm just going to get that out of that white faux, faux fur strip I have. So I'll take that and you'll watch this come together. Same thing kind of. I'm just not even going to put the little crease under there. I mean cut out under the nose. It works fine without it.
Now we have the embellishment. I'm going to pull his hat down a little bit with the glue. You could just use a stitch too if you want to, a hand stitch if you want to just have it tack it down even more, and I probably will do that. So that's what we have. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned at the end, and there's some pictures coming up. Have a good day, and let me know which of the gnomes you like best, and if you're going to try this, and we will have a live crafting where I'll be making more gnomes, and you can make gnomes with me, or you can make another craft. All right, everybody have a good day. See you later.